Hello, my most amazing artists. Yay! Hi! Welcome back to Art Class with Christy. We are going to have some fun this morning or today, whatever time of day it is for you. I say that a lot. Um, we're going to do this watercolor feather today. We're going to have a practice draw. We're going to have a real drawer on some paper. Um, and then we're going to watercolor it. And write some cool words. This one says, have courage and be kind. I've got a couple of examples to show you. So this one, this is a swimming feather. That one says, life is beautiful. This one, there's your really pretty colors. Can you see that? She looks inspired. And this one is a nice, really big photo. I'll hold it back a little bit so you can see it. And it says, always be kind, always. So, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna have a practice draw. Just like I said, we're gonna put some details on our feather and we might just jump in and get started. Sound good? Oh, no, we can't. I need to tell you what you need. Right, okay, I'm gonna use watercolor paints today. So this is my watercolor palette. Um, if you can't use watercolor paints, you can actually totally use acrylics if you're allowed to use acrylics. It'll take a little bit longer to dry. Um, <clears throat> you can use textures to colour it in. You could use your textures as watercolours. So remember, if you've got a snap lock bag, I'm looking for my snap lock bag. Oh, I know where it is. It's hiding. Snap lock bag. Colour a little bit of um, the snap lock bag in with texture. And then if you put your brush in water, it will activate the texture. So it will turn into watercolour for you. You could do that. You can colour it in with crayons, oil pastels, whatever you have at home. Totally okay. So you need your watercolours. You need a pot of water if you're using watercolours. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Paint brushes. Um, I've got three. I always have these three paint brushes handy. Let's put them in on a big middle and small and we might jump between all of them depends how big my feather is um, this one all of mine have been cut out and stuck on black paper we're not I'm not going to do that today with you guys but you can totally do it if you've got it at home um, or different color paper you might have brown paper you might have some I don't know pink paper whatever you have you could do it you could do this on a canvas as well if you wanted to um, if you're doing it on a canvas, I would suggest maybe that you use your acrylic paints. Um, but I'm gonna do it on paper. I need a permanent marker. You guys are gonna need a lead pencil and a rubber if you want. I'm gonna draw in a black pencil. I think that's all. So watercolors, water, paintbrush, lead pencil, rubber, permanent marker, paper. You need paper. Mine's a big A3 paper, but if you only have A4 paper, that's okay. Totally use that. Use that. I'm going to put mine back down so we can have a practice draw. And where's my... There it is. Beautiful. So we're going to draw some shapes. And like magic, this wonderful feather is going to appear. Now, if you'd rather your feather be really skinny, that's okay. That's okay. But to start on my, on my practice piece, I'm going to draw a bit of a curved line from top nearly to the bottom, not quite to the bottom. A little bit of a curved line. And... Oh, I forgot to pause. Oh, I forgot to pause so you could go and get your stuff. Sorry, that was me having a little tanny. Try not to do that too often. Let me pause now. Pause. Pause. Unpause. Right, now you should have your things. You should have all your stuff that you've got to make, create with. Right. If you'd already paused me, this is, what, this is what we've done. We've done this line down here. Remember, this is 
how we roll in the studio at the moment. It's unscripted. It's um, it's whoa, something just went off. Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe it was just a lot. I don't know. Anyway. So if I go too fast, that's what I was going to say before I really interrupted myself. If I go too fast, pause me. Just go, pause, Christy, pause, pause. And then unpause me and catch up. So we're going to put a little line at the top and then run a line. And it gets a little bit skinnier as we go down to touch the point. Can you guys say that? Yes, you can say that. I can say it. Beautiful. All right. So then we are going to put a curved line in here. So I'm going to go curved here. And on this side, I'm going to go curved here. So pop those in. However you do it is perfect. However you do it is perfect. I need to say that twice so you hear me properly. And then I'm going to come back and do a little, little, just a tiny little line back and then forward both sides little line back and then forward oh I can already see it starting to take shape and then I'm going to bring another line back and come forward and another line back and come forward so they're a little bit curved then I want this line to come all the way down to meet the point <coughs> sorry I'm just going to Grab a drink of water. Also my pretty water bottle. I have a sticker on it that says I am fearless. It reminds me to do it anyway. Okay, back to drawing. So now I'm going to bring this line and it sort of just extends down. It can be a little bit swirly, it's okay. And this one is going to come down and we want it to join up. Cool. Looking good. Don't forget to pause me if you need. Now I'm going to pop some details on here because I think it just makes it look interesting. So I'm just going to, where these lines are, I'm going to, where those points are, I'm going to draw a couple of lines here. I'm making it really similar to this one. And then same on this side. You could do a different size if you want. I'm going too fast. Pause me. I get excited. And then I'm going to put some lines down here. This one's got love parts and I kind of like that. So I'm going to do, and it's upside down, right way up, upside down, right way up, all the way across. You can put whatever patterns you like on there. And now I'm going to be a little bit adventurous and go different on this side. So this one's crisscrosses. I know I want to write some words in here, so I'm going to leave this space. I'm going to just put some lines down here, just some interesting lines here and some here. They don't match up. Another line here, little circles. And you don't have to write the same as me. You might have your own words. Um, we like to write nice words in the studio a lot. So I'm going to, on mine, I'm going to write, have courage and be kind. <coughs> If you're drawing with your pencil, I'm gonna, we're not going to do that just yet. That's pretty much all the lines that we need to have a practice of. You can be thinking in your head of some nice words that you might want to write. You might even want to give this away. It's a really cool artwork to give away. Um, so I'm going to grab my piece of paper now because our practice one is done. I'm going to draw in my black pencil so you guys can see it. I need to sharpen it. I didn't do that before. Silly me. Well, that's a bit wobbly. Lucky I've got a couple of black pencils. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do the same process again. So top to bottom. So I'm going to... Oh, it broke. Typical. Typical, typical, typical. Goodness gracious. Put some thinking music in my head. Okay, let's go. Top, 
to bottom. That oh, that's gone wonky. Guess what? I'm okay with it. I'm gonna go with it. I might have to make my feather a little bit skinnier this time. That's okay. I can live with that. And then remember, little line across there, and then come down. And it gets skinnier as it goes down and meets to the point. Whoop. All right, then we're going to come curved line, curved line. A little bit curved line in, curved line out, curved line in, curved line out. It only comes in a little bit. I'll bring it close so you can see. Can you see? There you go. Look at that. You can see that. And I'm going to come in and out again, and in and out again, both sides. What would you do to one side? Would you do to the other side? It's like a dance move. You know, I like the dance move sometimes. Anyway, let's get this done. So now this line's going to come all the way down. And it went a bit wobbly again. That's okay. I'm cool with that. And this side. Fabulous. It's looking good. Pause me if you need. All right, some detail lines. Two lines here. Oh, they're only really skinny, that's okay. I can make it wider. So we're gonna go over it in a minute with a permanent marker. I would like those to be on a bit more of an angle. So I'm actually gonna leave a little bit and put them like that. So it's just, I'm having a happy accident. Yeah, that looks cool because it kind of looks now like this is a crisscross. I like that. This line, and I can put, you can put different designs on your one than from your practice. I'm actually going to bring this crisscross line down here because I want to put my words, I'm being mindful where I want to put my words. So I'm going to go wide here. Crisscross line. And then some interesting lines. You can even make these. I'm going to make a couple of these join up. And I'm going to put some circles in this one just to make it a bit different. Kind of happy with that. I'm not going to write my words in my pencil. I'm going to be bold and write them straight up with my Sharpie. So once you've drawn yours, I want you to grab your permanent marker and then we're going to go over everything first. So we need to go over absolutely everything. Redraw. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to try and follow this line as best I can. All the way down. I'm sorry that you're seeing my back. There we go. And all the way down here. Follow the lines. Follow the line. Follow, follow, follow. I feel like Dorothy. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. I won't sing that one. <laughs> the lines. This one. <clears throat> Make sure you go over all of them. They all need tracing paper. I'm going to come over this way and bring this line down. Whoop. And back up here so I don't forget to do that one. And then I'm going to come down here. single line. 
and I'm going to wrap the same words. Sorry. This is very thirsty work. Thirsty work. I'm going to write the same word, and I know they're from one of my favourite movies, Cinderella. The, the, well, it's not really new anymore, but it was newish. And Cinderella's mum says, have courage and be kind, and I like that. So I'm going to write, have courage and be kind. So all of this must, if you're using watercolours, all of these must, must, like must, have to. Cannot say that enough. Must be a permanent marker. Permanent, like a Sharpie or a permanent marker. Don't use a normal texture. What would happen? Ooh, what would happen if you used a normal texture? I know lots of my amazing artists know this. If we add water to the normal texture that we've just drawn, it'll all go blurry and smudge. Totally. So make sure you use a permanent marker. Permanent. Not a Posca paint pen, a permanent marker. Permanent. All right, now we get to watercolor. And I'm gonna be, I really like the aqua one, this aqua color one that I did, this one. So I'm gonna use blues and greens today. I'm gonna use my, I think I'm gonna use my big brush to start with. Let's have a go. So I'm gonna start with, Actually, I'm going to start with this lime green, this one here, can you see that one? Just so it's a little bit light. And the line down here, it's not very dark at all. That's okay, because we're going to build up some colour. So the more water I add to my watercolour palette, the lighter it will be. And I don't want to rub the paper a lot. Because what will happen if I wrap the paper a lot? Yes, yes, you're right. It will rip. And sometimes it will go, it will have like little bally bits of paper on it. That's what happens when you rub it too much. So I'm just going to fill this all in with the light green. That really pretty light green. If you're standing up like me and yours is standing up like mine, if you use lots of water, it might drip. I'm thinking probably you might be leaning on a table, like so it's flat, so it probably won't drip. I'm going to live with it if mine drips. Pretty much all of that's coloured in with the light grey. Now I'm going to add, I've got this aquamarine colour that I really, really like. <coughs> I'm so sorry guys. I have like a tickle in my throat today. And it's not tickling me. It's to make me giggle. Which is not cool. So I've just gone down the centre with that aqua colour. I went outside the lines a bit, that's okay, totally okay. And now I'm just going to go, I'm starting in the middle. So I start in the middle where that's, where the centre is here. I'll show you again. And then I'm flicking my brush out. Just flick it out. And on the ends, I'm going to bring it close so you can see. On some of the ends, it doesn't meet all the way to here. And I, I kind of like that because it gives it that feathery look. Sorry, if I get some more paint. You see that? Ooh, yes, I like that. Like that. And I'm going to leave some space in between because I want to come back with another colour again. That's 
cool. Hello! Did you see that? I think you saw that. <laughs> I think you saw that. I think you got struck. I just dropped it. And my brush has just gone on across there, and that's okay. We can live with that. I need to pay attention to doing one thing at a time. It's trying to be tricky. But you guys saw it, it's okay. We'll live with it. So now I'm going to use some blue, and I'm going to come over part of the green, part of that aqua color. And the blue turns a little bit greeny. Whoa, I've got a drip, that's okay. And it's starting to build up color, which I really like. So I'm coming from the middle out. The middle out because it makes it feathery, it makes it look a little bit more feathery. The other bottom. I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm just going to not use as much water. Yeah, that's looking really cool. Looks a little bit like a leaf because of the colours I've used, but that's okay. And now I'm going to switch brushes <clears throat> and I'm going to use my pointy brush. Same blue, so, but I haven't used as much water. And I'm just going to put some lines, fill in some of these blank lines here. I'm going to run a line down the middle so it's a bit darker. Down here. So you can definitely see that. I'm not sure what the middle line of the feather is called. Let me know if you know. Some clever people will know. In there. I'm actually going to fill in the circles. I'm going to fill in these lines too. Yeah, that makes it look interesting. It stands out. I like that. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I'm going to bring it close. I'll try not to drop it again now. Can you see? You can even turn it that way. Oh, that's cool. Except the words are upside down, let me go this way. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun still learning how to do stuff. There. So if you wanted to, you could actually paint around the background. I might do that today. I'm going to just stick that down a little bit more so you guys can see that. So I'm sorry, I dropped it. But I'm going to paint really quickly around the background. I think I'm going to paint pink. Yes, yes. I feel like painting pink today around the background. So, water. Just a washy, 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 washy pink. Oh, yeah, cool. If your water's really dirty, you might like to change um, waters and get some fresh water. Because there's a chance that that will, if your water's green, this pink might go a bit yucky. But test it out, see. And while I was rubbing around my pink, it accidentally went in a little bit of the brown, which I can see here. But I'm okay with that. I can live with that. A bit more. Then that way we don't have to cut it out. Like I said before, you can totally cut it out if you want to cut it out, but you don't have to. A bit more water. A tiny bit more water. I've got a line down here. Just a bit there. Spread that out. Cool. I really like that. Yes, I can see it in the... Um, what it, the, the thing I'm recording on. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, I can see what you say. Uh, if I hold it up this way, I finally got it. There we go. Now I can call it done, but not finished. You know why, right? 
I love that you know why. Because we've got to sign it. And when I say sign it, you guys know that I mean you've got to write your name on it. Because when you're an artist and then you do my class, you definitely have to write your name on it. Um, your signature can be your first name, your last name, your initials. I always sign mine um, with a love heart and write Christy in my art class. You can sign it wherever you like. Anywhere you like. Make sure it's dry though, because your, your permanent marker is not friends with the wet page. So let it dry if it needs to dry. Um, I can feel mine is pretty dry here. So I'm going to sign it here today. On, on this one, I signed it down here. You can sign it wherever you like though. So I'm going to write love heart and then Christy. And I can call it finished then. And I hope that you can call yours finished too now because that means you've signed it. So next step is you have to clean up. Clean up your space. Thank your human for letting you use your paints, if you've used paints or whatever you've done. You will have a little bit of a mess. I can see I've got a mess. So you need a spectacularly spotless space. So clean up, make sure you clean up. And then if you um, ask your human really nicely, you could say, oh, my human, Christy really, really loves it when you send her pictures. I would love to see what you've created today. You can send it to me on Instagram or Facebook, Coco's Closet. You can email it to me. I think my email address is on the YouTube. I'll check. If it's not, I'll make sure it is. And um, thank you for coming and painting with me. Thank you for creating with me. Keep creating. Until I see you next time, I'm going to say bye.